At 3x1 Denim Factory in downtown Manhattan, one pair of jeans will cost at least a couple hundred dollars and potentially more than a thousand. Why? Salvage denim is, is unique. It's more stylish, I think. Selvage is a much desired old style heavy duty denim. And Cone Denim's White Oak Factory in Greensboro, North Carolina is one of the few places in the world that still makes it. I think it's wonderful, so it keeps us busy. But I ain't gonna pay no $350 for no pair of jeans. When her bosses first pulled these mid-century Draper looms out of storage, 77-year-old Mildred Bolin thought it was a fad. But 10 years later, the machines are still running, and so is Bolin. My daughter says, Mama, you made out of better stuff than I am. It's that better stuff that keeps this 107-year-old plant in business. You can see that it's an authentic fabric made on an old shuttle machine. It is, however, a struggle. Manager Brad Johnson oversees about 200 employees now, down from nearly 3,000 in the 1970s. We've got to continue to adapt, continue to perform, in order for us to maintain our presence in the U.S. and the textile industry. Part of the larger trend that's seen the U.S. lose almost 70% of its textile manufacturing jobs in the past 20 years. We have downsized on more than one occasion, but you never get used to it. Staley Vincent is Director of Human Resources and a second generation employee. A lot of people have come through this plant, fed their families, uh, built homes, and it provided an excellent uh, source of income. You know, manufacturing uh, supports the middle class in this, this country. The future of the White Oak factory and the American textile industry as a whole, in fact, remains very much in doubt. But Bolin says as long as the lights stay on and the shuttles keep moving, she's not going anywhere. I'll come down here if that gate's open, I'll go in. If it's got a lock on it, I'll go back home. A share of the market seems worth fighting for. Sales of pricey jeans are projected to grow nearly 4% this year to more than $8 billion.